Welcome to the second part of our race track series. In this video, we'll add fences, guard rails, and flags to our track layout. First, select the road mesh and go into edit mode. Select the outer edge loop of the track, then separate it by pressing P. Name this new object outer ring. Apply a shrink wrap modifier to it and set the offset to zero. This will ensure the ring sticks perfectly to the terrain. Now repeat the same process for the inner edge loop. These two loops will serve as guides for placing our fences and barriers. Once done, hide the road. Select both the outer and inner rings and convert them to curves. Now we'll append the fences from another Blender file. We created these in an earlier tutorial if you haven't seen that yet, the link is in the description. We'll also import a human mesh to use as a scale reference. Make the human mesh unselectable in the outliner, so you don't accidentally move it. Now scale the fence model according to the human figure. Once that looks correct, go to the modifiers tab. Add an array modifier and increase the X offset slightly to create some spacing between fence sections. Next, add a curve modifier. In the curve object field, select the outer ring curve we created earlier. The fences will now follow the shape of the track. Increase the array count until the fences fully wrap around. You can also scale the fence slightly to reduce gaps between the start and end. Now do the same for the guard rails. You can use any type of mesh you want for example, tire walls, concrete barriers, or metal rails. Unhide the terrain and check the alignment. If the fences or rails are intersecting with the terrain, move them slightly upward on the Z-axis. You might notice that the rails don't bend properly along the curve. This is because the mesh doesn't have enough geometry. To fix it, hide the modifiers, go into edit mode, and add a few loop cuts to both the front and back of the rail mesh. This should fix the bending issue.
Now unhide the terrain and road to see everything in place. Your fences and guardrails are now complete. Next, let's make some flag banners to add a bit of color and detail to the track. Hide everything. Add a plane and set up a new material. Import your flag textures. Cut out the banner from the texture and shape it into a flag. Set the origin point to the bottom of the flag. Make it straight along the z-axis. Rotate and scale it as needed. Then apply the rotation and scale. Rename all the flag objects. Now, just like before, use the array and curve modifiers to make them follow the track. Once you're satisfied with the placement on one flag, you can copy the modifiers to the others. Move the flags along the x-axis and position them around the track as shown. Put all flags into a single collection. Now unhide everything and view the full scene with terrain, road, fences, rails, and flags. To make your scene more readable in the viewport, assign different viewport colors to each object's material. This helps you distinguish between them while working. Finally, organize all assets into collections. Move unused objects into a backup collection. Thanks for watching. In the next tutorial, we'll make billboard style trees and add height variations to the terrain.